Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Marilyn Shannon and this is the Breaking Free Show. And I want to welcome you here from wherever you are from all over the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. And I know that your time is extremely valuable, so I'm happy to share it with you. So thank you so much. And I want to welcome Amnon, who is our producer. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. It's good to see you here. It's good to be here. I know. What's the alternative? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're expecting some bad weather, so yeah. make sure to get here a little early. So you're doing all right? I'm doing just fine. Good. Good, good, good. So today, um, like every day, we have ex- another extraordinary guest. I just love, uh, I mean, selfishly, I just love meeting our guests before you do <laughs> because I love to connect with them. And we have just an amazing array of people who come on here and share with me, share with you um, their passions, their art, their life, their techniques, their strategies, their way of living a a life that's free and beautiful and contagious. And today's guest is just one of those, those individuals that you meet along the way that you think to yourself, oh my gosh, is he real? And yes, he is. And so I'm going to introduce him in a second, but I want to tell you about a quote that I want to uh, give you today. And it actually is from my guest, which just blew me away when I spoke to him. He said that everything we do is a self-portrait. And I heard that, and I've been sharing that with everybody. Remember, everything we do is a self-portrait. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But today, my guest is Aloy Morales from Spain. He's considered to be the, the best hyper-realist painter in the world. And let me tell you something. Before I started looking at his work, I had no clue what that really meant. But, oh, my God, when I started looking at it, I was blown away. He's got accolades from all over the world. He's been doing this for years. He's had shows from everywhere, from New York, throughout Europe. He lives in Madrid, Spain, with his wife and his children. And um, he's, a, he's, he's a daddy. He's this artist, and he's a daddy. And he, it's amazing, the work that he does. Um, in fact, most people, when they look at his work, they look at it and they think, this isn't a painting. This is photography. And I looked at it and went, oh, he paints on people's faces, He paints on a picture, on a piece of photography. No, he doesn't. He paints the whole darn thing. And wait till you see it. And his work touches a psychological chord with people. His work has been featured in video, print, uh, exhibits all over the world. But it's about emotion. It's it's, It's about a connection. It's about deep emotion. And in his own words, it's it's this love-hate thing going on. And I can go on and on and on and explain to to you all who this man is, but I want you to hear for yourself. And he's been doing this painting since he's four years old, and he's amazing. So without further ado, let me introduce you, my friends, to Aloy Morales. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. (laughs) Very happy to be here with you. It's very nice to have you here. And I want to just tell everybody before we get started, this is one of the nicest men I have ever met in my entire life. Uh, He's been just (laughs) terrific. He connects. He understands the little things that we have to do in the background to to make this thing happen. And he's amazing. So I want to welcome him here today. And um, once again, thank you so much for being here. So first of all, what is hyper-realism? Um. First of all, I want to, to say um, I'm sorry for my my English level, and I am because I'm I'm a Spanish, and um, I hope that people could understand uh, what I'm what I'm saying. Um, I don't like the the tax. I don't like to to call myself a hyper realistic painter uh, because uh, for me uh, this word. Um, represents or, or seems like him um, to have a very close uh, meaning. Um, we used to, to understand uh, hyperrealism um, like uh, if, if we are uh, the painter, uh, hyperrealistic painter, are uh, like a printer. Uh, I don't feel uh, that way. 
uh, I feel that uh, art uh, works in, in in other levels and another uh, emotions and other feelings and and this word uh, uh, for me um, uh, doesn't uh, represent uh, all all the sense of, of that I and that I want to uh, to express with my with my paintings and when uh, when I'm working. And what do you mean by another level? Another level. Um, I I think um, art uh, walks in the intangible and the, and the non physical and. Uh, it's just the opposite that many people think that my my paintings uh, show, um, and I have to say uh, sometimes I feel a little uh, misunderstanding with uh, with this. Uh, it's very difficult to 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 express uh, what I want to say, and um, uh, more difficult in in another language that it is it is not my own language. But um, I'm sure if people uh, could uh, see my my, my paintings in life, uh, could understand uh, better what what I'm saying. The problem is uh, we are looking at very um, big paintings in a small reproduction through the computer, and you uh, lose all the information. You lose all the pictorial codes, and uh, it's uh, that way. You know, it's, it's not good for me. So when you're, um, so what you're trying to express is that when you actually do a painting, and these are self-portraits or painting of members of your family, and we'll get to that in a minute, you really are expressing an emotion that they're feeling, or that they, in that moment, is that what you mean? Yes, uh, uh, I'm always trying to uh, to express how I feel in the moment I'm doing my paintings, uh, and it's uh, it is very nice to see uh, through the years how your uh, your paintings and, and your work change uh, in, in in the time you are changing as a, as a person. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really really beautiful, and and it's important that uh, that your painting uh, your paint. Um, change with, with time right you grow you grow you grow you okay grow. yes right so when you started what were you expressing then um can you repeat yes. please the when you first started painting or somewhere i mean, not necessarily when you were four years old but as you started maturing as an as a painter as an artist what were where were you then as far as your emotional self your creative self where were you then um, you need to to uh, get older to to do some some things uh, you know, there are a different uh, stage uh, when you are a, a kid you are uh, um, i was working a lot to learn at the college uh, at home and uh, doing a, a hard work of of learning all the basic concepts uh, of form of um, studying from life and working working really hard and after uh, um, came a, a second stage uh, in which you are using all uh, that you have learned to to express another concept. Uh, this is why I'm always saying that tool is just uh, sorry that a technique is just a tool to express. Uh, a tool is it, it is not my is not my my goal when when I'm painting. So I understand exactly what you're saying. So with age, the emotion gets more developed, and so when you be, when you're painting a portrait, you're able to. Yeah. Uh, explain um, more about the emotion. Is that right? Ten, ten years ago. Yeah. Ten years ago. Now I'm 40. <laughs> when I was 30. So you now express... What do you see now in emotion? 
it's very very difficult to to, to express uh, because I feel uh, in different ways uh, in different moments and, and it uh, always affects uh, how uh, how I'm painting how I'm working and vice versa if I feel sad while while uh, while I'm painting I am I feel sad as a person. It's, uh, it's a complex, uh, complex relationship between my life and my uh, and my painting, and I can can't avoid it. So, when you're painting, are you painting your emotion or your um, or the person you're painting? Whose emotion are you ca- are you getting? Um, both. Both. That must be kind of difficult, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's very very difficult and. Um, I am I'm my my worst enemy because <laughs> I I make myself uh, uh, suffer a lot with this question. It's in what my, in my, what my, way? In what way? What is the what suffering? Way? Yeah, what is the suffering? Because I am never happy with <clears throat> with my results. Uh, um, is um, I prefer. Uh, the image uh, that was in my head before uh, I start uh, the painting, and I feel that that I'm always losing, uh, losing at the end. This is why I, I told I leave um, a weird uh, relationship with my pain of hate and love. So you you love it when it's in your head, and you hate it when you do it, or do or do you? Oh. Uh, I'm kidding. I I I not hate, uh, but um, but it give, uh, gives me problems. It gives me problems uh, to create or the, the process of of um, to create uh, my paintings is difficult, uh, and I uh, I have to to fight with um, with myself. Um, and I'm not talking about um, um, technical. Uh, uh, issues. I'm 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 talking about um, another another situations that I live each day when uh, when I'm painting is is it's, um, it's, uh, it's difficult. To, yeah, it's to very, say. but it's so interesting because I'm, I mean, I am a, a I love uh, discussing emotion. I love figuring out what what a feeling means or how we how we live with them, how it, how it guides us. I love talking about emotion and I feel like the more we can understand our emotion, the easier our life becomes because we can use our emotion to get in the way of things and we can use it to feel free. Yeah. Right. Do you agree with that or not? Yes. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Uh, I'm always saying that uh, my work is uh, is very uh, psychological. It's is um, is deep in, in this in this aspect. And this is why uh, I don't feel uh, recognize. Uh, I don't recognize myself when 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 people say that uh, I just um, I'm a hyper realistic painter. No? Uh, I know that people uh, do it with with love, and I feel really grateful with with people that uh, are always showing uh, uh, and telling me uh, beautiful and nice words to, uh, towards my my uh, my work. But uh, mm. I <laughs> I don't believe in in, in tags. Mm. So when you're painting, I mean, emotion can change from moment to moment experience yeah. to experience is that the difficult thing about are you capturing what are you capturing are you capturing the kind of like all of the emotion at at one time or how what would you say about that uh, it is uh, yeah, some kind of roller coaster <laughs> process because uh, today i feel happy uh, and tomorrow <laughs> who knows mm-hmm. i don't know why but uh, suddenly something change um my 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 emotions change too and i have to fight with 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 this um 
I, I, I don't want to, to seem a, um, an, an artist that, that suffers a lot, but it's that sweet suffering. <laughs> I don't know uh, if you know what, what I mean, but it's a, a sweet uh, suffering because um, I, could, uh, I can live uh, without pain. You could live without pain or you can't? I can't. You can't. I can't. Do, I can't. Let me ask, that's, a, that's extraordinary, that's a big question. Maybe none of us can. Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, maybe none of us can live without pain. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think um, I can live with, without pain uh, because um, in, in, the, in the moment uh, I do, uh, in summer, uh, the time uh, is, uh, is long and... Uh, I really need to come uh, come back to my studio and uh, and and work a- again. Uh, this is the the way uh, I grew up, and this is the way I'm getting older. Right. Well, I think that we all sometimes we all push to always feel good, and not giving ourselves. I mean, you can't feel good all the time. You have to feel all kinds of things, otherwise, it's not true. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. No. We have to feel the anger. We have to feel the fear. We just can't let it um, get the... Some, well, sometimes it gets the better of us, but that would be real if we could just... If we're able to go through all the emotions, that's the trick. That's the beauty of emotion, is to be able to be able to go through all of the emotion, right? Yeah. And I think it is the price of uh, getting older. Um, when I was a child, uh, <laughs> this was easier because uh, things uh, were more simple. I, I think it's, it's very, very usual, no? right? Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's so much easier when you're a child and you don't have to be faced with certain things, right? We, we are talking of, of paint, but... I think we are talking uh, of life too, and that's the way it goes, right? Isn't it? It's and that's what it is. So when you talk, when we spoke on the phone, we spoke about that line about everything, and every way that we 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 do things is a self portrait. And I want to I want to talk about that because I think that was an amazing statement that you made. So can you talk to me about? That, what you mean by that, that you, everything is a self-portrait? Yes. Uh, wh- when I am choosing mm, the models or the, mo- uh, uh, or the motives uh, uh, to paint, um, I have uh, some things the, uh, that I know uh, that I, uh, I can do and, and other things I can't uh, because... Um, I can, uh, for example, paint uh, a car on the street. I can paint uh, uh, buildings because um, I don't feel uh, this uh, the same connection with 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 another with another models and other models. Uh, but I need uh, when I'm painting whatever to to feel this this, this connection, and this is why I'm. I I see it like a self portrait. Is mm. you are in in all you are you are painting. You are painting. So you're and, doing. And Lucia, you're, sorry, so uh, Lucian Freud uh, say that uh, when you you are uh, are painting a chair or you are painting a whatever you are doing self portraits, and I agree with yeah, with this. True. It's totally uh, true. So you're expressing. Whatever it is about yourself. Yeah. And you always are doing that. Yes. Uh, if I'm not um, recognize myself in, in what I'm doing, uh, um, it's uh, empty. Uh, and I, I don't feel proud of, of, of that work. And mm. uh, I, I have to erase uh, that work. Mm. So you have to be true to yourself. Sorry? You have to be true to yourself. Yes, always. It's uh, very, very important uh, to be uh, honest uh, 
to be very honest with, with what I do. In. And and how is um, and as an artist, because that's another thing you and I spoke about about the artist and how true they have to be in order to be an artist. Is that right? I I don't know exactly what you. Well, are, so. so as an artist, you're you you you're expressing artists. Yes. I mean, in order to continue doing your art, whether it's sculpting, whether it's painting, photography, you have in order to express yourself, you have to be true to yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. Yes. Um, I don't know another way to do to do things. Uh, uh, I need this. Um, the situation, uh, because uh, I can't, I can't paint if in another way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have to to um, to feel free uh, to to feel my freedom when, when I when I'm painting, um, and I'm not uh, able to. To feel the, uh, this way every day of uh, uh, of my life, no, mm -hmm. uh, right? And mm -hmm. it <laughs> is it's difficult to to sure. Um, it is it is well it. it is. I mean it is, and I think we we we're all an art. We're all our artists. We're all creators. We're all artists, and maybe that's where some of the conflict comes in with each of us. Because we're so, we're trying so hard sometimes to express who we truly are in the world, and how we express that can put us into a, a can make us feel uncomfortable because we can't put our finger on what my purpose is and how do I express it. Yeah, and um, sometimes you are uh, pushing your yourself uh, every time and. Um, and you have to say a stop and I'm relaxed. <laughs> right. So let me ask you something. Somebody is asking us a question. Debbie is asking us on our chat. How, what, what is it about the paint on the faces? Can you explain that? What does that mean? Mm. And we're going to show some of those now. I have them okay. here. We're gonna, what does that mean? Okay. It was the, the first time I, I paint myself. Uh, because I don't like to, to paint myself, but in this area it's very important uh, that uh, to be myself the uh, the model, um, and the the paint symbolizes um, is a mask. I, I hide him uh, be, behind this mask. Uh, at the same time, is um, war paint mm -hmm. and. It's important the uh, the title of, of the series, paint uh, in my head, uh, playing with the with the meaning of the of the sentence. Uh, but I'm 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 talking about my my relationship uh, with paint, but in, in my mind, on mine, uh, my inner world. Um, uh, this is a, a a word a game. Wow, you're taking my breath away. <laughs> uh, it's, it's difficult. It's very, I'm sorry because no. it's, it's very, very difficult. We are talking of a, a really difficult concept to, to talk. Even yes. you are talking your own language. And, uh, and English is very, very, very hard to me. No, you're I'm doing... Sorry. No. In fact, <laughs> if anything, you're explaining it so well. And, and maybe it's the fact that it is somewhat difficult for you that you're having to dig down really deep inside of you in order to express i'm trying i'm trying to to explain but um many times i uh, i don't find uh, the words uh, yes. no, and but it's uh, difficult to to express uh, uh, this deep uh, uh, concepts well it's always it, listen that's always hard to do you have the same thing happen when you're painting yourself or anybody else. It's the same thing. It's no different. You said somewhere that you have your own language, right? Hmm. Okay. Right? Same. 
it's the same thing when you sit down and you're trying to figure out how you take an emotion, how you take your emotion and put it on that canvas. Right or wrong? Right. It's no different than what you're doing right now. We're just painting a different canvas. Same thing. <laughs> Another and canvas. It's an, and I'm struggling and I'm struggling too. And this is my language. And I'm, and I'm struggling because what we're talking about is so deep and we're trying in our best way to put a picture to it, to put color to it. And it's, and it's, and it's magnificent. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's magnificent. I mean, you got me almost in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. So... We are a painting, and we are self-portrait, and I'm tr trying to get myself out here, and my, my inside is trying to talk to your inside, and your inside is trying to talk to my inside, and we're putting it out there for the world to hear and see. It's nice. It is beautiful. Beautiful. And we have people on our chat that... Um, um, that are that understand what we're talking about. We have a chat. So if anybody out there, whoever out there is listening to us, you are more than welcome to take part in our chat that's going on at the same time that Aloy and I are speaking. And if you put your name on the little line, the little box to the right of the video, you'll be part of the chat. And you could write comments. You can um, add to what people are saying. You can ask questions. And you are more than welcome to to call in and speak with, with a lawyer yourself. You can contact us on Skype, which would be computers, that's plural, the number two, K, voice, and you would come in on voice. Or if you're somewhere local and you want to call in, you can call in at 919-518-9773. And we'd love to have you if you'd love to ask a question or anything you want to know um, we, we're delighted to have you. Um, so we have some questions and some people want to know uh, some, some things that you're talking about. So somebody, uh, Susiani on our chat, who's a dear friend of ours and she's with us a lot, she wants to know what it is about the technical part of your painting process. Like what is it that you actually do uh, to create what you create? It looks... Um, can you describe how you do this? Do you know what paint by numbers is, Aloy? Do you know what kids do this yes. a lot? Uh, the first, um, the first stage is um, the uh, the idea of what I want to paint. Um, sometimes the uh, idea uh, come to, to my head, and sometimes <laughs> I have to to think uh, more. Um, and then um, I um, I take care a lot of the situation uh, um, of the um, of the light uh, of the composition and all in the way I want to uh, to uh, to show my my image my my future image. It's very important all these um, aspects uh, before I start uh, the painting. Um, then um, I take uh, pictures, uh, a lot of pictures. Um, when I have the the image uh, that I want to to work, um, I work uh, uh, the image on my computer, and adjusting uh, uh, colors and bright some some and so. Uh, this uh, this aspect in general, uh, and then uh, I start the the, the paint uh, on the canvas. Um, uh, the first uh, step is the uh, the drawing, the initial drawing, uh, and then um, I I paint always with uh, oil painting, and and now I'm working on canvas. Uh, and my my paintings are uh, are made from different layers, a, a lot of layers. Um, 
people uh, when people see the image on the on the internet and um, appear some um, parts of the painting are done and another are white uh, people think that it's just um, the first uh, layer of paint but um, it is not uh, that way um, I can um, I used to, to paint over dry paint day by day and uh, when I when when I come to my studio uh, I used to to paint over dry paint every day and you can see uh, one uh, part of the painting uh, with five or ten uh, layers of paint and um, there are another parts that uh, are white in this moment in that moment uh, so how big are these paintings for the most part how big are the yes. paintings yes uh, very very big very very big <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some more uh, to show. Uh, can we, we're going to show I, another one, okay? Let's show another one. You got one, okay. okay? This is we. So we saw this one, and then what? And can you? And is this you again? Yes. And then, so is there any? What do you call this one? This is. Uh, is 160 centimeters. I, I, I don't know in inches. And then is this, is this painting have a name? Yes, it's painting my head Syria. Uh, there are uh, nine pieces of this Syria. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know how long uh, the Syria, how many paintings. Uh, in the moment, I feel that the Syria um, is... Um, is ending um i can I, I can paint more more pieces of mm -hmm. of the series now. so uh, i did uh, um uh, snow uh, uh, forest uh, series the swimmer series uh, and in the moment and um, i felt the series was uh, complete i uh, stopped uh, to, do, to so follow the, this so you're painting family, friends. Is that who, who you're painting? I was painting my, my family for for a long time, uh, but um, now I'm changing the uh, this process. Uh, I decide to to change uh, and and to do in the inverse mode, and uh, I do a, a lot of uh, photo sessions with with. Um, with new people that 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 I, that I meet, uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. But um, uh, it's a, a different experience, um, and I am enjoying this this experience now. So, so you've changed now. Is that why the paintings are changing? So before you were you were painting family and friends, and now you are. How have you changed? So now it's now you're painting whoever. How have you changed to be able to do that? Because uh, um, I need to to change. I was um, uh, working with my family for for a, a long time, and I was needing uh, another emotions uh, and uh, and to feel uh, in a different way. Uh, this is uh, the way, uh, and this is the motive, uh, because I, 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 I decide to to change my 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 models. Hmm. So you you really you do you look for an emotion in somebody? Is it when you're looking at these photography these these photographs, or you're looking for a model? Are you looking for are you looking for some type of emotion, or are you looking for just an emotion that? you want to express? Uh, for me, it's, it's very simple. Do you feel uh, uh, the magic or not? In the moment you are meeting the person, uh, uh, when you are looking at the eyes of, of the people, you can feel uh, if you... Uh, and I know if uh, I could uh, paint or not paint a, a painting of, of that of that person. And... Um, 
it is not a matter of to be ugly or to be handsome, <laughs> to be fat or to be thin. It's a question of connection. Mm. Uh, uh, it's, a con- it's a question of connection. So what do you mean by that? I don't know. I just feel it. You uh, feel a connection. I, so, I, I have been doing a lot of photo session and I have to say I felt that connection with five or six people. So this connection. So I guess tell me tell me this. When you're painting someone and you I mean your paintings are so real that it's almost like you really have to Ha- it's almost like you really have to have permission to get so close to someone to be able to paint them the way you do. And in that connection that you have with somebody is an unspoken permission. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, we are talking again of the um, intangible, of the non-physical uh, all these emotions that uh, are uh, in the air when uh, I, I'm trying to to catch the air, the, the emotions, um, the, the magic that uh, suddenly uh, uh, appears in, in my studio. Uh, sometimes when when I'm doing the uh, the, um, the pictures, I I don't. I don't want uh, to copy exactly the, the photo. I, I want to catch the the sense, uh, the feelings that I uh, that there are uh, at my studio in the moment I'm doing the mm-hmm. the the pictures. Let me ask you something. So, when you're painting somebody, whether it's yourself or somebody that you know, and you've already been doing that, are you also including not just the emotion that they're feeling or that you're feeling, but are you including? the relationship you have with them? Yes. Uh, I love to, to work with not, uh, not professional models because uh, professional models are, are professional models. <laughs> and I, like, I love to, to show how people uh, feel uh, in front of, uh, of my camera, in front of me. And it was really nice to, um, to check this situation with... Um, with new people, and it's amazing because uh, we are all different and we uh, feel different and we express in a different way our emotions. And there are people shy, uh, not shy people, and and uh, paintings talks uh, all uh, about this, about this this feeling. Or I try to talk uh, about these feelings. No, you're doing great. No, you're doing great. I I mean, we're all understanding you. Um, So is it your reaction to the painting or is it just your feeling, period? Like, are you you painting how you're feeling about somebody in that moment as well? Or is it your feelings in general? In general. In general. In general. In general. general. Very interesting. You have, so there's a lot that you're putting, you're capturing. There's a lot. Sorry? There's a lot. You're able a to lot? See, yeah. You're able to see a lot. <laughs> you really feel a lot in your body. Yes, I feel a lot. Um, I'm always uh, feeling the the need of telling uh, and expressing all these feelings with my with my paintings. It's uh, it's really nice uh, to dedicate all my life all. All my days to to trying to to explain uh, this this uh, relationship. Wow, it's really amazing to me that you can be that uh, that tuned in. And I know it's a struggle. I know that um, it's not always easy to capture it. But you, ha- so so you feel deeply in your heart. Yeah. Don't you? I feel uh, very deep in, from my heart and and this is what I'm trying to 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 express. 
<laughs> while, while I'm painting, and uh, this is my 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 way to be uh, as a person too. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if I'm uh, um, answering uh, what you are asking. No, you're me. doing. Listen, you are doing great. You are doing great. I think it's, uh, all, all the questions are related. Oh yeah, oh, are yeah. connected. Absolutely, and that's. I mean, we're 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 sculpting something. We're creating something, and it's bit by bit, just like I'm imagining. You tell me if I'm if if I'm right or wrong. But when you're painting somebody, you're going bit by bit, because every part of their face is going to show the emotion differently or the eyes or the mouth and every bit of it expresses a piece of whatever it is that you're feeling is that right or wrong it's it's more more complex um, okay it is i i i don't know uh, because um i i love uh, to to have every day uh, an open door to the um, unexpected while, while I'm working, despite uh, of many people thin. Uh, uh, this is why I not feel as an uh, uh, hyper real painter because every day uh, I need to have a surprise. Uh, yeah. when, when, <laughs> yes. Yes, if I not, understand. It, this could be very bored. Yes. So did you um, did you act did you go to art school did you have a formal art education? Yeah, you did. Is that college beyond? Yes, uh, I was uh, studying here in in, in Madrid uh, um, at the College of Fine Arts, La Universidad Complutense de, de Madrid. Uh -huh. What is it like for someone like you to go to school? I mean, what are you what are you actually learning when you go to school? Um, I have learned a lot of things. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to to have lived uh, that period mm -hmm. because they they have learned uh, to me um, a lot of things, not just um, technique, uh, but uh, they they have learned to me to to think and to see the the, the world in a different in a different way. And to be very open-minded, and to respect all type of arts, um, I think all this uh, y you get rich when you you learn to to respect all all the different things uh, in life. And I have learned this in <laughs> in, in the college. Uh, they helped. To me, to to learn to to be this way, you know, it's uh, here again is something that I'm going to try to put into words, just like you. So, the fact that you are that open to all of life um, makes it easier for you to have these relationships to be able to paint because you're all open and at the same time feel being this like container holding all of these things inside of you also makes it complex yeah right it's it's difficult it's yeah difficult. it's very difficult so very difficult. somebody um so uh somebody's asking you have they have great questions out here on the chat so first of all um how who are your who are your role models? Who do you look to as a as an artist to another artist? Who is the artist that you look to that you say is 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 great is fabulous? My reference. Are you talking about my reference? Yes. Um, at the college uh, period, um, I get a lot of uh, reference. Uh, Amazing artists like um, the Spanish uh, Antonio Lopez, uh, Velázquez, uh, Vermeer, uh, Gerard Richter, uh, Marta Cárdenas. There are a lot of wonderful painters that um, that I have learned from from them uh, a lot. 
Um, but now uh, uh, I'm I'm not thinking in in no one uh, while while painting. But but I have to say there are uh, a lot of um, artists, uh, uh, amazing artists that that I enjoy a lot in, in the world. We we are lucky to have uh, a great artist uh, in, in this moment. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You have a question? I want to ask. Okay, Amnon has a question. Uh, hello. Yeah. In this picture, who is on your T-shirt? I can I can hear you. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the picture, okay. in the picture, who is on your T-shirt? Uh, it's Charles Bronson. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, it is. I, okay, never mind. I did it. I did it too. I did it too. Okay. So, I, I have to say one secret is uh, um, I don't listen to music uh, while I'm painting. I used to watch uh, movies. <laughs> yes, I know that sounds weird. But it's uh, it's true. I am. Um, uh, I watch movies. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm not seeing the, the the screen, but I'm hearing the the movies. Um, and I love to to watch uh, this kind of movies, uh, like be TV movies or uh, action uh, or movies from the eighties. <laughs> That's great. For a second there, I thought it was Che. And I'm saying, well, he's too young for that. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's Charles Bronson okay. from the Murphy's Law movie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, so, how is... So, you're, you're a daddy, right? Yeah, my daddy? You're Sorry? a daddy. You're a, you, you're a daddy. You have children. Ah, yes, I, I am. So, Chris wants to know how your art inspires you as a parent. Or how does your how do how does your children inspire you? Uh, I think that to be a, a daddy uh, is uh, one of the of the situations of um, of the facts in, in, in my life that have uh, that has changed me uh, uh, the most because um, it's uh, a bath of of um, of reality. Uh, in the moment you are you uh, become a daddy, you are uh, putting your uh, your feet on the ground, and um, I think it's it's good because uh, your um, your outlook of the of reality of reality changed a lot, and this is uh, amazing. You how you you are changing changing as a person. Yeah, because I mean, with children, of course. They don't see some of the things that adults worry about. They see, you know, the beauty in life. You know, they give us a great perspective because they're not going to worry about the things that may not need us to worry about. Yeah, um, and at the same time, it's very difficult to be a, a daddy too. It's, it's again the same. It's struggling, struggling. Yeah. <laughs> over and over again. It's, yeah. It's. It's difficult, but they are my my motivation, my my main motivation in this life, and so obviously, uh, obviously, I love them the most. And um, but at, say, uh, at the same time, I, uh, I feel um, afraid. Uh, uh, afraid of what? That yes, uh, what uh, could happen to them is. Um, I think it's it's normal. It's very very common to all daddies. <laughs> yeah. Do you have daughters? Yeah, I, I get um, uh, one daughter and uh, one boy. Mm. Yes, as a, a, I'm a grandma now, and I don't. You're a grandma. I'm a Congrats. Gran, I have a <laughs> grandchild, and getting ready to have a second. And I don't think you ever stop caring and thinking about your children no matter how old they get you know once you're a parent i think you're always a parent yeah and it's, you never give that up it's a, a really nice feeling i think is the the, the nicest uh, a feeling of, of this world but um, it's it's very difficult to be to be a, a good daddy uh, right and 
and sometimes you are uh, busy and you feel that you are not uh, taking care of them enough and <laughs> and I don't like to to feel uh, in this in this way right well that's something that do you end up expressing that in your painting as well sorry do you express a lot of that in your paintings the feelings you have about being a dad has that changed yeah your... mm-hmm. yes I, I, I'm trying I'm trying to express uh, this this love to uh, in my paintings mm, this and, love you see that's what I just loved about you in that one moment that one split second instead of saying about expressing the pain you chose to say the love maybe uh, not in uh, in a explicit uh, way but i think i do in in a more general general way because um the the love uh, that i feel that, that i feel for my kids is is um I think is making making me a, a better person. Um, yeah. All you are, uh, we can uh, talk uh, again um, um, about self portraits. Yes. <laughs> yes. And now um, I am in the way I am because my my kids make me feel this way too, and they they are. Part of these self portraits too. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Because you're, you're an artist. You're a husband. You're a daddy. You're a man. You're a, 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 a man with a heart. I mean, you have so many different parts of you. And uh, as a as a person like you are, who is, I mean, spends a lot of time expressing feelings and emotion and understanding you that's such a big part of who you are it's part yeah. of it's how come the self portrait keeps changing <laughs> right yeah and i think you are doing a, a good uh, portrait of, of me yes yes with with your words i, I think you are doing a uh, a good portrait um uh, I recognize myself on your words. Wow. Now that's a that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, thank, it's true. Thank you very much cuz you know I love art. I just I love art and I love artists. I mean, I could sit and talk to artists all day long and feel like um just not even on the ground. Like I'm floating. And I've always wanted to know what my art was. You know, I, I, I'm not a painter, really. I did a sculpting, a sculpture once, and it was very exciting in stone and I just, you know, clay, I mean, it was a blast. But I, I, I really feel like my art is in interpreting a person, helping a person, I mean, interpreting a, a person's feelings. That's, what were you going to say? It's, it's very important to have people... Um, who can um, um, understand uh, what the artists uh, are doing? Because if not, the the conversation is not complete. Um, we do uh, what we do uh, for ourselves, but we need a, a beholder in, in the other side that could um, uh, appreciate uh, what we are doing. Is important too. Yeah, and you know, I, I, now I say that these interviews that I have, like with you, it's an intimate conversation because we get to see so much of who you are as an artist, as a human being, as a, you know, what you're doing, what, what, what you're doing for the world. I mean, and you're explaining a part of, the, of, of humanity that many of us, you know, we kind of go through quickly and we don't get to really connect to the level and depth that we're talking about now. And this is extraordinary and, and it's very valuable. And I just want to 
say just behind Aloy is a uh, painting. Is 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 one of your paintings, right? Is that one of your pa Oh, have, hello, are you there? Yes, okay. yes, yes. I was yeah, okay. listening. I was okay, listening. good. <laughs> that you are a very good listener. See, that's another thing. Yes, it's important to to be a very good listener. <laughs> yeah, but you, and you listen. Okay, we have to talk about this for a second. You listen on on some of the deep. I mean, on the deepest of level, because you're listening beyond words, and you're listening to where there is no words. I don't know what is the, the the question. Sorry. Well, I don't even know if I'm asking a question. I'm sort of making a statement. You listen, I'm, and I'm yes, I'm not says yes, yes, yes. Yeah, go ahead. I perfectly I perfectly understand uh, what you were saying, but but um, but I think that you were asking me uh, after the the sentence. Yeah, I I um, do you agree? so listening? I mean, I I love listening. I think listening is the most important thing we can do, both um, on the surface as well as to every everything gives off information. All of our senses, everything, touch, smell, everything tells us something. And you know how to do that. You know how to listen on those levels deeply, deep, 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 deep. I, I think it's important to, to listen, to listen and uh, you can learn a lot of, uh, of things. Listen, listening people you know, is, is is important. Re very important, and you and that's where some of the the issues come in is when you can hear things that people don't even realize that they're even saying. You can hear um, what people there, aren't there even are saying. There are a lot of people that that don't do it. Right. Right. And honestly, that's part of my work in life, is to help, is to help people remember to listen on and to learn to get to those levels that you you're talking about and the level that you live at. You live at that level. You live Thank at those you. levels, and that's that can be difficult at times too. And I think talking like this is really um, helps bring it out. So we are talking. About Important things and, and deep concepts in, yeah. in the whole conversation. No, it's, yes, it's, it's really nice and um, it's beautiful uh, to to talk uh, um, after uh, after seeing uh, my, my painting uh, as an excuse. Uh, um, and that finally we are talking of, of all these these uh, these matters. Uh, are beautiful, beautiful things and deep, deep, really yes. deep content. Yes. And unfortunately, we are like within a minute of being done and out of time for this. And this has been just extraordinary. And I want to thank you so very, very much for for being no. here and with me today and with everybody. It was, it was my pleasure. Um I have to say one more time. I'm sorry to, to. I would like to to do it better, but I think that that people could imagine what I'm trying to to express, and and maybe after this show, uh, people could um, see my paintings in, in a different in a different view. No? Yes, I think so, and I and <laughs> you did an excellent job. Um, this is probably. One of those paintings that you may never see in real life, but I want you to know that what you have painted today will live in the hearts of many. And it's nothing they can touch. They can just feel it. Can you be okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the... Yeah. My pleasure. Nice words. My pleasure. So tell everybody, like... Your website. Is there a website they can go to yes, to see uh, your work? I think the, um, the more uh, simple way to, to see my, my website or my is eloymorales.es. Uh, is go to the um, Google and put uh, Eloy Morales, and my, my website is 
the first uh, in the first place of of the list. Yeah, he's he's all you have to do is put his name in there or go to Facebook. He's got a tremendous following on Facebook, and it's just you just open your mouth and your your jaws just drop. So I want to thank everybody for being here today to share this moment. That's all it was, is a moment in time. And you are a delightful human being, and you're going to be my friend for life. I'm sure. Yes. I'm coming <laughs> <Thank> to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's your home. Absolutely. And I'll see you in New York sometime, too, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Next year. And everyone out there, thank you so much for being here today, and I wish you just a beautiful day. Thank you so much. And Alois, hang out for just a second before, you know, after okay. we everybody leaves. Bye, everyone. Sure. Take care. You are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Help In with Debbie Brooke, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Lessons of Vietnam with NCVVI members, The Tanya Love Show, Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert, and if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com Sponsored by Atomus.com Makers of quality video recorders and converters for professionals That vidblasterguy.com carolinaapparel.com and deltaforce.net Thank you.